Okay, so let's talk about electric forces. So what is it? So electric force is just basically the repulsive or attractive interaction between two charges. Okay, so let's say we have an atom. Okay, let's get to have an atom. We know that atoms have got them, are protons inside and neutrons. Okay, so let's say we have the protons here, then we have um, the neutron there. Then around the nucleus, we know that uh, we, we are going to get to have what? The electrons. Okay, now, neutrons have got no charges. So we are not interested in something which has got no charges. So our main interest is uh, the electron and proton. As we can see, we are talking about the proton here and the electron. So a proton has got a positive charge. Okay? And a, a, an electron has got uh, is negatively charged. Okay. Now, these are the types of charges which we need to know. So we have got a proton and electron. They need to know that protons they are positive charged, then uh, electrons they are what? They are negatively charged. But these two, these two charges have got the specific charges. Okay. So what is the charge for proton? They are, they are supposed to have the same charges, but uh, opposite what? With opposite signs. So this one, when you get to an, uh, when you get to talk about uh, the proton. And electron we are saying that they are supposed to have the same charges but different signs so if this proton is uh, is positive definitely supposed to have positive as well so it's going to be positive 1.6 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 coulomb by the way a charge its SI unit is coulomb okay then when you talk of the electron it's going to be negative but the same value okay that is what we need to understand. Also, these two charges they they have got what we when uh, they have got what we call masses. Each charge has got a mass. So, what is the mass for the uh, for the proton and what is the mass for the electron? Okay? So, the mass uh for the proton is a uh, uh, 1.67 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kgs. Then the mass for the electron is just basically uh, 9.11 times 10 raised to the power negative 31 kgs. So as long as you know to say, when you're talking about the proton, we're talking about positive 1.6 times 10 raised to the power negative uh, 19 coulombs. When you're talking about electron, then the charge is uh, uh, negative 1.6 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 coulombs. Then when it comes for the masses, you need just to understand that the proton has got the mass of 1.67 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kgs. When it comes for the electron, electron has got the mass of 9.11 times 10 raised to the power negative 31 kgs. Okay, those are the important thing which you are supposed to know first. Okay, now, sometimes they might, uh, they might give you the... They might give you the uh, these charges in microcoulomb. So we need to also to get to know how to convert from microcoulomb to coulomb. Okay. So one coulomb. Okay. We need also to uh, to get to know how to to convert this. So if I've been given one coulomb, is just basically equal to uh, ten raised to the power six microcoulomb. Okay. Then when it comes for you converting from microcoulomb into coulomb, it's going to be 1 <coughs> microcoulomb is going to be equal to 10 raised to the power negative 6 coulomb. This is the simple conversion which you're going to be using. Okay. Now, from there, what else are we supposed to talk about? From there now, let's go to the electric forces. We need to know that uh, unlike charges attract each other. And like charges repel each other. We have said that uh, electric force is defined as uh, the repulsive or attractive interaction between two charges. Meaning that if I've got two charges here, okay, if I've got two charges, 
let's say these are our charges and then this is a positive this is positive so if this is positive this is positive these are like charges okay so like charges get to what eh? to repel each other this is going to move in that direction and the other one is going to to go to the other direction okay what if we have got eh? like charges so if i get to have unlike charges here which is going to be a positive and a negative here these two guys they are going to attract each other okay so now as they are repelling and attracting each other there is what we call electric force so electric force electric force is given by the formula k q1 q2 in the modulus everything divided by r squared where when you talk of the k k is the coulomb constant and the, the value is always given it's 9.0 times 10 raised to the power 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared okay and this q I'm, I'm just talking about the charges now why are we putting modulus when you're plugging the values there we are only interested in the magnitude if the if the charge has got negative ignore the negative we are only interested with what uh the uh the magnitude only now some people they they might tell you that uh, th this formula is supposed to be written like this but basically it's the same thing okay you can separate them if you want or you can just put them together and uh, put uh, one modulus which is just basically the same thing okay so what it means there is uh, if i if i get to have two charges if i have um if i have a positive and then i have got a negative so this one we, we might call it charge one then this one might call it charge two so this this charge is going to have a negative and this one is going to be a positive because this is a negative charge and it's supposed to have a negative charge as well so now what it means there is that if these two guys were trying to bring them together there is what we call separation distance in between okay now this separation distance is what we call alpha now from our formula we are saying that it is k q1 q2 everything divided by r squared so alpha is the separation distance and k is the coulomb's constant then th this uh, q1 and q2 they are just basically the electric charge which we are talking about okay so let's say we have got charges let's say we have um here we have positive three micro coulomb and then here we have got uh, negative five micro coulomb then let's let's say that ala is just equal to 10 centimeters okay how can we how can we find the electric force okay so using the formula which we have just come up with here we can see that electric force is going to be equal to k is always 9 times 10 uh, raised to the power uh, 9 okay so i can put it in module uh, i can put it in brackets and then what is our q1 our q1 it is 3 microcoulomb but remember the s unit for the charge is coulomb so we are supposed to convert this one into coulomb from microcoulomb into coulomb remember i said if i have one if I have one coulomb, this is the same as 10 to the power 6 microcoulomb. If I have got one microcoulomb, this is going to be 10 to the power negative 6 uh, coulomb. So if I'm if I'm to convert the 3 microcoulomb into coulomb, I'm just supposed to to get the same 3 times 10 less to the power negative 6. Okay. So this one is going to be 3 times 10 less to the power negative 6, meaning I've converted it from from microcoulomb into coulomb. Okay, then again times, I, I open the brackets, the second one I've got 5, this negative, but since we are talking about the modulus, we are just getting the magnitude. So it's going to be 5 times 10 raised to the power, negative 6, quorum. then everything divided by the ala. Now the ala here is 10 centimeters. The separation distance is always in meters. We are supposed to convert that one into, from centimeters into what? Meters. So to convert uh, from centimeters into meters divided by what a hundred so 10 divided by 100 we are getting we are getting 0 0.1 okay so I'm going to put 0 0.1 here I square it so on top there I'm going to do the math and then I'm going to have um, 9 exponent 9 times 3 exponent neg, neg 6 times 5 exponent neg what? Exponent neg 6. 
So on top there I'm getting 0 .0 0 0.135 then I divide this one by 0 0.1 squared. Okay, so I'm getting 13.5 13.5 newtons. So what we need to understand here is that uh, this is going to be our electric force which is going to be acting between those two charges which we have. Okay, so now let's talk more about this formula. We are saying that uh, the electric force is given by the Coulomb constant. Then we, we get to have the Q1. Okay. Then we also get to have the Q2. Then everything divided by the R squared. Okay. So if we get to have two charges here, we have two charges. Let's say um, this one is positive and this one is negative. So this is what we call the ala. So we're going to say this is Q1, Q2. Okay. Now, um, as the separation uh, distance between those two charges increases, the, f the electric force has to reduce. Okay. As you can see, it is inverse proportion to each other from the formula which we have here. So from this experiment which you have here, if you get to to have to have longer distance here, the separation distance, the electric force which you are going to have, we are we are not going to have um, the greater force. Okay, we are going to have weak electric forces which are going to be there. The electric forces which are going to exist there, they are going to be weak. Okay. So meaning that uh, as you get to have a um, larger value of uh, the separation distance, the electric force is going to go down. And the moment when the electric force goes up, the, elect the separation distance has to go down. So these two, they are inverse proportion to each other. That is what we should know. Okay. Now, let's talk more about the same care which we are talking about, the Coulomb's constant. Now, sometimes you might be given um you might g be given what we call the absolute which we denote it by e0 so sometimes this k is given by 1 over the 4 by the ampere now this e naught has got also a value okay which we need to know so the value for E is just basically 8.8, .8, 5 times 10 raised to the power, negative 12, Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. So this is what we should also understand from here. Sometimes you might just been given maybe the value of E. So for you to get the K value, you need just to, to use the same formula. Okay? So you know that K is going to be given by 1 over the 4 by the E naught. Okay, that is very, 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 very important. We need also to understand that. 